Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to protect yourself from Bluetooth hacking. That's right, cyber criminals for a while now have been targeting your smart devices as far as trying to send phishing messages through your Bluetooth connections. As we all know, Bluetooth connections can be used to connect a variety of things. You can connect your smart devices together to send information back and forth. You can also use your Bluetooth to hook up to headphones or speakers to allow you to enjoy music wirelessly. But beware, when it comes to Bluetooth, there are ways that criminals can get access to your information. And you definitely don't want that to happen because criminals... I've turned to Bluetooth because getting cell phone numbers is a little bit harder to send out those phishing, phishing messages. And also Bluetooth offers a variety of ways that criminals can get access to your personal information and commit identity fraud. Now, there are going to be some terms that I'm going to throw out here that sound kind of silly, but I've got the definitions up so that you can take a look and get an idea of what this terminology is so that you can better protect your smart devices. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first one, which is car whispering, obviously is something that most people can say. But anyway, it's the practice that cyber criminals can get into the Bluetooth in your car and listen to the phone calls and conversations that take place in your vehicle. Uh, sometimes they will just eavesdrop and get information from your Bluetooth devices and other times they may send malicious messages to distract you or to just harass you. Now, I will say before I go any further, as far as Bluetooth is concerned, Bluetooth only allows you to connect to devices that are within 500 to 1,000 feet. So I don't want you to think that Bluetooth is a scenario where criminals can access your information from anywhere in the world. That's simply not the case. You have to be within the vicinity of Bluetooth in order to receive messages from criminals. Also, you need to keep in mind too that advertisers are starting to use Bluetooth to communicate with you with your smart devices. So again, beware when it comes to your Bluetooth. Now, the next Bluetooth method that criminals try to use to get into your devices is called blue bugging. And blue bugging allows criminals to get into your devices through a back door then once they're in, hackers can definitely access the private information that is on your smart devices that allows them to, again, commit cyber fraud. Now, why would criminals do this? Well, companies and individuals are becoming a little bit more vigilant when it comes to cyber crime. Cyber security breaches still happen all the time, but criminals are always trying to update their game when it comes to getting access to your smart devices. So Bluetooth offers a method that most people don't think about where criminals can get into your devices. Now the next term we're gonna look at is called blue snarfing. Now blue snarfing allows criminals, again, to get through your Bluetooth and they can gain access to your photos, your text messages, and they can commit fraud and identity thefts Things are going to cause you problems. Why all these different terms for uh, these Bluetooth attacks? Well, it depends on the method of the attack that is going to occur. Like blue snarfing, the attack is the intent to get access to your information. Blue jacking is the intent of criminals trying to send out phishing messages in order to get you to click on a Bluetooth message that pops up. Blue bugging, again, is when... Criminals get into the back door or a secret way as far as your Bluetooth connection is concerned to um, steal your data. So you, a lot of terms out there, but at the same time, um, there's <laughs> different methods what these criminals are trying to do and hence all of the confusing terms. Now, the next uh, cyber attack that you can expect through Bluetooth is blue smacking. Now, this is a denial of service attack, which means that cyber criminals aren't after your information like a lot of these attacks. Again, sometimes they just want to have you click on a phishing message through a Bluetooth attack. Other times they're just out and they steal data. Now, with blue smacking, this is the practice where criminals will bombard 
your smart device in order to ensure that you're not able to use your device at all. Now, sometimes uh, criminals will bombard your device with blue smacking until your device shuts down, but this is a cyber attack that is more malicious in nature than um, theft in nature, as in, again, criminals are just wanting to cause havoc when they have a blue smacking attack on your device. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty. How do we prevent all of these different attacks that come through on our Bluetooth devices? Well, the first thing you would think would be obvious, but a lot of people don't think about it because we leave it on. I think mine is on right now, but turn Bluetooth off when you're not using your Bluetooth device to prevent these type of Bluetooth hacks. When you turn Bluetooth off, there is no way that criminals can get into your devices. Um, but at the same time, you aren't going to be able to connect any devices, which is why when you use Bluetooth, you need to remember to turn it off because obviously we're going to be using Bluetooth to connect with our smart speakers, with our smart headphones in order to enjoy music, or you are using Bluetooth in your vehicle to have phone conversations. So it's very important when you're done with Bluetooth to go ahead and switch that off and just get into a habit where your Bluetooth is not on because your Bluetooth is sending out a signal trying to connect with other devices and devices are trying to connect with your Bluetooth. That's just the way it's designed. So it's just an always on connection that allows criminals to get access to your device if you leave Bluetooth on. Next is to when you're in public, don't pair and look for new devices. If you have to pair your smartphone with your car, if you have to pair it with a new set of uh, speakers or headphones, you wanna do that at home in your own personal space. That's not to say that criminals can't connect to your Bluetooth connection when you're at home, but at the same time, it's less likely that a criminal is going to try to connect with your smartphone if you're at home as opposed to a public place. Criminals operate in public places because they know people are doing things with their smart devices. They're trying to connect to Wi-Fi. They're trying to pair devices. They're using Apple AirDrop to share photos. So those are opportunities where criminals can sneak in and actually get access to those devices to um, hack or steal your data from your smartphone. Other things that you should really consider when it comes to making sure that your devices are safe from cyber criminal activity is to always update the operating system on your devices. It doesn't matter if it's a computer, smartphone, or tablet. Whenever you get those updates for your devices, always download them. The reason being is because those updates come down because there is a known cyber breach when it comes to the operating system on your smartphone, on your computer, and on your tablet. And those updates are designed to prevent criminals from accessing your devices. Other things to pay attention to when it comes to keeping your devices from Bluetooth attacks is to be weary of messages that pop up randomly on your smartphone. Sometimes you may get a message that looks like it's an error message saying that there's a problem with your computer or your smartphone, but in reality, it's a criminal that's trying to fish you with false information to try to get you to click on an unknown link to go to a bogus website where either you'll give up your money or you'll suffer a ransom attack where criminals are trying to bait you into giving up your money in order to get access to your device. But finally, always use your head when it comes to messages that may appear on your devices because when it comes to Bluetooth theft, there's really no way to know if a criminal is in your device. Bluetooth hacking is designed to work through stealth, which means criminals can work in the background with your devices and steal your data uh, without you knowing it. The only signs that you can tell if a criminal is trying to access your device through Bluetooth is your device may slow down a little bit, but it's not like it's going to be a blatant message when they're trying to steal the data off your device. Now, again, remember, sometimes criminal will flash 
bogus messages trying to get you to click on links. Other times they just work stealthily in the background stealing your data. So always be safe. Make sure that you're not pairing your devices in public. And when you're not using your Bluetooth connection, make sure it is off. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions about Bluetooth hacking, leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear to see if I can answer some of the questions you may have about Bluetooth hacking. With every video, I always ask, like it, share it, <laughs> comment on it. Um, love the feedback and love to help you or anyone else who may have difficulty with the technology in their, in their life. So my purpose with these videos is to make sure that you are opened up to a whole new experience with the technology that you use at home and at work. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.